Hardware without people is worthless. It takes a highly skilled professional to use a 150 ton crane with dexterity. Add to the mix working in a high security environment and you've narrowed your list of qualified people. Our job here is to make sure that we hire the right people for the right job to, for mission success. We start with actually doing a management advisory to the hiring officials, and that could be anywhere from a supervisor to a commander, depending on the position. We advise them on um, what they're looking for, or helping them to determine what they're looking for as far as a candidate. Um, if there's educational requirements for the job, if there's a security clearance that's needed, we kind of give them um, all the options that are available to them. Um, through just more of a question of, okay, so what are you really looking for? And as long as there's no hiring restrictions put on by Air Force Base Command or Air Force, then we actually start the process with um, doing a request for personnel action. If the job has a positive education requirement, that is not something that's waivable. So therefore, that person would not qualify for the job, even though they may have other, um, meet other criteria. Um, security, on the other hand, the announcement normally states that you're able to either have or obtain a security clearance. So that is something that we could actually get started in the hiring process if the person does not have the necessary security requirements um, before we bring them on board. So there it is. Launch team members must meet stringent job placement requirements as well as being trusted with our nation's security. This ensures that not only the job is done right the first time, but that all steps are taken to protect national defense assets. In this space age, we use machinery that's based on technology invented thousands of years ago. Take for example this truck. It uses the internal combustion engine, is capable of carrying cargo that could stagger a team of horses, and is based on the same invention as the chariot, the wheel. Uh, the qualifications you need to move uh, launch equipment, it's you got to be licensed on the tractor and then you also have to be licensed on the trailers. You know, every, every trailer there's different sizes, there's, you know, 25 foot, 40 foot, you know, and then every, every trailer has its own qualification. You also have to be qualified to move hazardous material and special equipment um, components. Uh, the precautions you need to take when moving you know, special cargo like this is, uh, you just got to be slow and then take your time with it. You know, you don't want to rush something and then miss some, like, forget to strap something down or just miss a step. The reason you got to drive so slow is you have all that equipment behind you and you're in a big tractor trailer. Most vehicles don't realize how big we are, so our turns are very wide. I mean, it looks kind of crazy. You see, it, you see a tractor in the middle of an intersection and they're going to make a turn and a little car is right there. You know, we got to wait for that car to get out of the way in order for us to make the turn and there's no one in the way. We see truck drivers and their rigs every day. In fact, they're so common in our everyday lives, we don't consider their impact. Here at Vandenberg Air Force Base, these professional drivers deliver the parts and supplies needed to send a complex piece of technology into orbit. This rocket and satellite are the results of many years of planning, designing, and building. Just plain hard work. There are thousands upon thousands of tasks, and the most crucial step in this process is assembly. Because extreme attention to detail is involved, many people consider it one of the more complicated jobs. So when we look at mission assurance, we're trying to make sure this rocket is flight worthiness for our customers, our customers being DOD, NRO, NASA, or sometimes on the request of commercial space entities. If you bought a car, custom car with certain designs to it, and you want to make sure that the manufacturer builds it right, you're going to hire me to make sure that they build it to your specifications, that they do it safely, and there's not going to be any risk associated with you driving off the lot with that vehicle. When we looked at the process for satellite development, from the very beginning we looked at planning, developing, day of launch, and it's on orbit. Uh, day of launch is the highest risk to the satellite that could possibly, something could happen to it. To mitigate that, we perform mission assurance and make sure that the rocket does perform what it's supposed to do. Quality control is essential when putting a few hundred million dollars worth of hardware into orbit. 
This may not be the most Hollywood glamorous of jobs to the casual observer, but in fact it's probably one of the more important jobs when launching rockets. Mission Assurance makes sure the job is done right, with zero tolerance for failure. Water. It's a necessity of life. Without it, we die. Too much can have the same effect too. That could be said of water when launching rockets. At launch time, it keeps us safe and protects the environment. But what's unique about this base is, is the fact that we use the water to suppress the uh, fire that comes out of the rockets uh, in, in order to prevent fires for one and suppress the, the noise that comes out of the rockets. That, that's unique. Uh, I've never seen it at any other base but this one. So what we do is uh, we have three pumps that have to run up. We make sure that there's uh, water in the tanks. Uh, usually we use uh, 5,000 gallons per launch, uh, depending on the payload also because sometimes it's a heavier payload so we might use more water because it takes the rocket a little longer to lift off from the pad. Uh, the mission is to launch rockets, missiles, and we see the work that we put in day in, day out. So when we do see that rocket launch, it's not only a success for those agencies, for uh, those involved with rocking the launches to us, it's uh, uh, mission, mission complete. So there you have it, an Atlas V launch. Overhead, miles above us, the latest in meteorological satellites is in orbit, thus giving weather prognosticators the best images and information about the ever-changing atmospheric patterns that affect our daily lives. And all of this, the result of thousands of hours of hard work by a team of launch specialists. And some of them don't even know that it's in their job description.